Hai, Assalamualaikum Jom kita revise sambil berehat Sambil berehat pun Kita boleh belajar tahu dengan tengok handphone Apa tunggu lagi? Jom kita mula Assalamualaikum and hi everyone Welcome back to my channel Jika anda pertama kali hadir ke channel ni Selamat datang saya ucapkan Jika anda pernah hadir dan kembali semula Terima kasih kerana sudi kembali Jadi hari ini kita nak buat satu quiz Daripada quizzes kita cuba jawab Dan kita cuba uh, discuss sama-sama Bagaimana untuk kita dapatkan jawapan yang betul Bagi subtopik 2.1 okay, Linear motion graph Jadi apa tunggu lagi Jom kita cuba Alright, so guys, are you ready? Alright, so let's get started with question number one. Okay, question number one. Diagram two shows a velocity time graph for a motion of an object. What is the total distance traveled by the object in each second? Okay, so this is the graph velocity against time. So the area under the graph will give you the value of the total distance. Alright, so kalau kita tengok ini, uh, the total distance all in a positive uh, value. Okay, positive direction. So, cuba kita kira lah. Kita ada tiga area, triangle, square and another triangle. So, this one should be 4 and this is also 4 meter and this one 6 minus 2, 4 times 4, 16. 16 times 4 is 20 and 20 plus another 4 is 24 meter. So, the answer should be 24 meter. So, let's try. Okay, betul. Okay, so next. Alright, question number two. The following figure shows the velocity V against time T graph. Which of the following graph is its corresponding acceleration against time? Okay, daripada VT kita nak tukar kepada AT graph. So, dia bagi pilihan jawapan kat sini lah. Okay, A, B, C, D. Okay, so dekat here from 0 to capital T, uh, certain time T. So, you can see that V is increasing. V is increasing, okay, and the gradient of this graph is constant. So, acceleration dia akan jadi positif sebab V is increasing, okay, but constant until time capital T. Okay, so saya dah nampak jawapan dia mestilah jawapan dia D. So, A is positive, so that constant until T and then you can see here from T to 2T, the velocity is decreasing, Okay, so when decreasing means that there is deceleration of motion. So the acceleration should be negative value. So the answer is D. Let's try. Okay, so very good. Alright, next. Which graph is a distance graph that shows the object is at rest? Very simple, right? So, this is a graph of distance against time. Uh, ini pun distance against time juga. Tapi, kita nak show at rest. So, the horizontal line means that the object is stay at one position, not moving, okay, stationary ataupun at rest. So, the answer is B. Okay, next. Question number four. Select the description of motion from A to B. So, look at here. We have velocity meter per minute. So, the time here is in minute, not second. So, tengok soalan betul-betul eh. Kalau dalam uh, you dapat soalan, you tengah jawab soalan, tengok. Seconds ke minute dia bagi. Okay. So, A to B, you can see here from zero to 60 meter per minute. So, okay. So, the object is moving from A to B. So, the velocity is increasing in 10 minutes. That's mean the object is speeding up. Okay, speeding up away from its origin. Okay, so constant velocity ke? Bukan. Dia bukan constant velocity tapi dia constant acceleration. Uniform acceleration. Kalau kita tengok, kita lukis triangle dekat gradient ni. The gradient from A to B is constant means that the acceleration is constant. Dia slowing down ke? Tidak. Dia tidak slowing down because the velocity is increasing from A to B. So, jawapan yang paling tepat adalah speeding up away from the origin. Okay. Okay. 
Okay, next. What is the line on this graph showing? So we have distance against time. So means that the object start from zero meter and then it's moving in positive direction. Okay, dia bergerak ke kanan. Okay, so dia moving away from the starting point at constant speed. Betul tak constant speed? Betul sebab kalau kita kira the gradient of the graph here, the gradient of ST graph will give you the value of the velocity of the motion. Okay, uh, so jawapan dia point at constant speed. Okay, constant speed. So speed means that refer to the magnitude okay, of the speed ataupun magnitude of the velocity. Okay, so it's moving away. Dia bergerak ke arah mana? Positive direction ke kanan from 0 to 25 meter. Positive 25 meter. Okay, so this is the answer. Okay, kita betul lagi. Okay, next. How long did it take this object to travel 10 meter? This is very simple because the graph is distance against time graph. Jadi, dia tanya berapa lama masa diambil untuk travel 10 meter? Daripada kosong ke 10 meter, tentulah 20 seconds. Very simple. Alright. Okay, next. Okay, so for this one, this graph demonstrates an object that is, so the object start from zero and then dia bergerak ke kanan because the value of the distance here is in positive value. Okay, and how about the gradient? The gradient is constant. So, maknanya dia bergerak dengan constant speed. Okay, ataupun constant velocity. Okay, speed adalah scalar, dia tak ada arah. Tapi kalau kita sebut constant velocity, kita tahu dia bergerak dalam satu arah yang sama dan satu magnitude yang sama. So, berdasarkan soalan ni, jawapan mana yang paling tepat? Moving towards the start, okay, no. Dia adalah moving away from the start. Start berkosong, dia semakin jauh at a constant speed. Okay, so ini yang paling tepat. Okay, kita betul. Alright, next question. Okay, for this question, describe motion of CD graph. So, CD, you can see here that the velocity is decreasing. So, from here, which is 15 minutes, alright, and then velocity is decreasing until 30 minutes, okay. Uh, dia decreasing velocity dia, tapi dia positive value of V, okay. Bila positive value of V, maknanya objek itu bergerak ke kanan, okay. Uh, dia bergerak ke kanan, dia masih jalan ke depan, tapi dia slowing down, okay. So, when at this point, object itu berehat since the velocity is 0 meter per minute here. And then, lepas dia dah berehat, dia akan patah balik in opposite direction. Dia akan bergerak ke kiri, mungkin dia patah balik kerana apa? Because the velocity is negative value means that the object is moving in opposite direction. Okay, daripada sini sampai ke D, okay, uh, dia move in opposite direction, negative value. Tetapi nilai velocity dia semakin meningkat, increase. Okay, which is until negative 40 meter per minute. So, jawapannya apa? Okay, from C to D. Hmm, okay, mula-mula dia slowing down, betul. Saya ambil jawapan inilah, slowing down away from the origin, betul. Dia slowing down away from the origin. Maknanya daripada C, dia bergerak ke kanan, semakin menjauhi starting point. Okay, and then speeding up towards from the origin. Okay, betul sampai sini dia akan speeding up 20, 30 and then reach 40 meter per minute tetapi nilai dia negatif sebab dia patah balik. So, dia akan speeding up towards okay, towards the origin. Okay. Uh, so, ini salah lah sebab dia kata slowing down towards the origin. So, ini betul. So, dia slowing uh, dia speeding up towards the origin. From ni sepatutnya tak ada. Speeding up towards the origin. Okay, so ini jawapan yang betul. Okay, kita betul lagi. So, next one. 
Question number 10. Which section of the graph shows decreasing velocity? Okay, so tengok graph apa? Velocity against time. So, from A to B, ini graph ini maksudnya objek itu bergerak. Okay, tapi increasing its velocity. Okay, BC dia bergerak tapi constant. CD pun increase lagi velocity. DE pun masih lagi constant. Dan jawapannya EF. Very simple. EF daripada 40 meter per second, dia berkurang sehingga 20 meter per second. So, the answer is EF. Okay, next. This graph demonstrates an object that is so distance time graph. So, ini adalah curve graph. So, kalau kita lukis, kita lukis apa? Kalau kita cuba untuk lukis triangle. Awak lukislah triangle dekat sini, triangle dekat sini dengan triangle dekat sini. Awak akan nampak that the gradient ataupun kita lukis uh, line eh, line of the gradient that tangent to the graph, area sini kecerunan dia lebih tinggi daripada area sini. So, the gradient is increasing means that the velocity is increasing. Okay, ataupun magnitude velocity dia kita panggil speed lah. Sebab kat sini dia ada speed kan, tulis speed. Okay, maknanya dia increasing. Ha, ke arah mana? So, bila kita sebut uh, speed, kita tak nyatakan arah lah. Tapi kalau kita sebut velocity is increasing to the right. Ah Macam tu. Okay, so untuk jawapan ni, jawapan yang disediakan yang paling tepat adalah increasing speed. Speed merujuk kepada magnitude dia. Berapa nilai dia, okay. So, kita tekan. Okay, betul. Okay, so what is the line of this graph showing? Graph distance start daripada positive value, dia turun semakin berkurang until zero. Macam dia patah balik kan? Okay, so adakah ada cerita pasal acceleration or deceleration? No. Tapi moving away from starting point? Tidak. Okay, ha, kalau kita kira sini adalah 0 meter, kita akan kata graf begini adalah moving back towards the starting point at a constant speed. Okay, so constant speed, gradient dia constant. So, daripada contohlah, kalau kita dapat graf daripada 10 meter, so dia patah balik ke sini. So, maknanya 10, 9, 8, 7 sampai 0 meter which is the starting point. Okay, so the answer is this one. Okay, so, alright, so let's move to the another question. What happened during CD? What happened during CD? Okay, that's mean this is the graph of speed against time. So, look at here, from C to D, that the speed is 0 meter per second. Dia tidak bergerak, right? So, not moving. So, this is the answer. Okay, so another one. Let's try. Okay, which segment shows an object speeding up towards the origin? Speeding up towards the origin. Alright. Okay, kalau kita tengok A to B. Okay, start from zero. So, this one dia speeding up tetapi dia menjauhi origin. Kenapa? Sebab positive value of velocity. You bayangkan daripada zero, you diri dekat zero meter. And then you bergerak ke kanan semakin laju sehingga you capai 60 meter per minute. Okay. And then uh, from 10 second to 15 seconds, the object masih bergerak ke kanan. Dia tidak berhenti bergerak tetapi the velocity is constant selama 5 seconds. Okay. 10 to 15. B to C, 60 meter per minute. Alright. Uh, ini minute sorry bukan seconds. 15 minutes. From C to D, okay. Okay, mula-mula objek tu decrease its velocity from C. Okay, daripada 15 minutes to 30 minutes. Dia bergerak ke depan. Dia masih bergerak ke depan because the velocity is positive value. 60, 40, 20 until it reach 30 minutes. Okay, dia stop 10 meter per minute. Velocity 10 meter per minute here. And then start here dia akan patah balik. Kenapa dia patah balik? Because the value of velocity is negative. So, start from here, dia akan semakin uh, laju. Kenapa dia semakin laju? Because the velocity is increasing from 0 to 20 meter per minute to 40 meter per minute. Okay, nilai dia negative sebab dia bergerak in opposite direction. Okay, so from here, from A to 
here 30 minutes dia bergerak to the right because in positive value of velocity lepas tu baru dia patah balik dekat point D jadi soalan tanya mana yang objek tu speeding up tapi dia bergerak ke arah origin dia patah balik so jawapan dia ini ok CD tetapi below the X axis so ini above the X axis CD above X axis ini CD below X axis so the answer is this one ok kita betul ok so next question question uh, maybe the last question ok The following graph shows a displacement time graph. Okay, betul. Which graph corresponds to a body at rest? Okay, uh, mestilah jawapan dia A. Because this is horizontal line. So, graph S against T. So, dia static saja. Kalau kita tak nombor dekat sini 10 meter. So, objek itu static saja dekat sini. So, the answer is A. Okay. Okay, so kita dah jawab semua soalan. Uh, selamat berusaha dan selamat belajar. Jangan malas. Okay, jumpa lagi in the next video. Assalamualaikum dan selamat sejahtera. Jumpa lagi.